What is going on, Concrete Constructors? Welcome, welcome aboard to today's episode of Your Concrete Success Podcast, where you learn how to leverage Google My Business to land more concrete projects. How to leverage Google My Business to land more concrete projects. So if you're you're watching this here on YouTube. Welcome aboard. My name is Danny Barrera. I am the founder of Concrete Marketing Crew. And if you don't know who we are, we are a digital marketing agency specialized in helping concrete contractors and decorative concrete contractors land more projects online, blow up their online presence and get found online without having to rely on lead vendors or general contractors to send them jobs. So here's the bottom line. Today's episode is about how to leverage Google My Business to land more concrete projects. And uh, if you wanna check out our website, just go to concretemarketingcrew.com and get our copy of our free internet marketing guide for concrete contractors. All right, let's get started right now. So first thing is, what is Google My Business? Google My Business in its simplest form is the listing that Google provides to local businesses and local contractors so that they can promote themselves, right? So it's free. It's free to use. You don't, you do not have to pay a dime to get yourself into the Google My Business. And how does that really work? Well, at the end of the day, someone's looking for a concrete contractor, uh, concrete contractor near me, okay? And if I'm making that search, you're going to see the top results that come up is what we call the pay to play, the Google ads section. And then right underneath that, we have the Google Maps listings. And each listing that you see here is a Google My Business listing. So first and foremost, if you don't have, okay, if you're a real business, a real concrete contractor with a registered business, a real company, and you have not yet claimed your Google My Business listing, go ahead and claim your Google My Business listing. So by default, Google looks at all these business directories and they scan and they crawl. And sometimes they detect businesses that have not done a manual insertion or a, a manual listing uh, creation for a Google My Business listing. So in that case, what they do is they just go ahead and pull the, the business name that they find there. They pull the, the uh, business phone number that they find that they can locate and they crawl all these other different business directories uh, to gather that data. Uh, but the point I'm making is if you have not claimed yours yet and one exists, it's as easy as clicking on the link uh, that you see there and then you can click on own this business with a question mark and you can see that and if that was me I can actually claim this business by going through it so if you have not claimed your Google My Business listing make sure that you do that is problem number one is contractors that they just let uh, whatever Google has out there just be out there and not take ownership now here's the thing if you want to claim it don't have someone else that is either an employee outside of yourself or outside of what you can control claim that listing because if anything happens to that person right anything happens whether they leave you fire them whatever the case is okay you're going to have problems getting access and it takes about two to three weeks to get your google my business listing back so make sure that you claim it to do that go to uh, google.com and type google my business and as soon as you get there uh, you can go ahead and uh, sign in and claim your listing and it's as easy as that and if there is no listing with your business name you can go ahead and create one and make sure that the phone number that's used in there is a real business phone number or it's a line that you are going to be using as a business dedicated business phone number now there is a test that I want to tell you uh, how to leverage your Google my business listing well uh, there's a test that you got to run through which is taking your phone number and make sure that that phone number, okay, like you see these guys right here, they don't even have a phone number right here. They, they don't even have a phone number. But uh, take the phone number that you have and what you wanna do is you wanna Google that phone number that you're deciding to use in and you wanna see what's associated to that phone number. If it's the actual business and it's already in other business directories, that is, as is, um, you know, if, as is your business, your real business number, then, uh, 
you're fine. But if it's showing up, like a lot of times we see new contractors, especially where they grab a phone number, they want to use their cell phone and we make a search for that cell phone. That cell phone might have been associated to someone else before or a different business entity. So make sure that that business phone number is dedicated to your business and it's the one that you use for your business matters, right? So uh, that's number two. And then let's talk about the address. What address should you be using for your listing? Well, it is highly suggested is that you get an address or you you have an office in the area that you service, at least in the major area. So if I am a concrete contractor in Miami and I want to rank in Miami or say my service area is Miami, Florida, I want to have an address in Miami. I don't want to have an address in Fort Lauderdale and try to rank in Miami. It's simply not going to happen, right? So make sure that you do have an address in the locale where you want to service in that area, that service area. Now, there are ways to optimize a Google My Business listing uh, so that it goes outside of the radius, but that is outside of the norm. Uh, that is outside of what is recommended. So to, for starters, make sure that your name is the real business name. You're not making it up. Number two is the phone number you're using. It's a real phone number that's uniquely assigned to that Google My Business listing. Number three, is the address. Make sure that it's a, an address that is unique and it is in the location that you want to service. It helps out. Now, what if you are not in the location? Well, what you can do is rank in that location and you should still claim the listing to the real business address. So it doesn't matter if you don't have an address in that other service area, you're, you're simply not going to be able to rank in that other uh, city in another city. So taking the Fort Lauderdale example, for example, you will be able to rank in Fort Lauderdale if your address is in Fort Lauderdale, but you will not be showing up in Miami unless someone looks you up by your business name. So that is something to consider. Now, uh, going to the next step right here is uh, as you're leveraging your Google My Business listing, you claim it, you claim ownership. The next step is for you to make sure that you have your website added. And if you're watching this, you can you can see that these guys right here don't have their website. They have the phone number, the phone number is showing up, the address is showing up, but there is no, phone, no website here. So make sure that you do have a website linked up to your Google My Business listing, your real website, and that your website is optimized because Google reads and crawls your website and it gives it a boost. The next step is to start getting some reviews. And this way, what you do is as you start gaining momentum and start doing jobs and start taking care of clients, collect a positive review, whether it's a four or five star, and then start sharing those with your new prospects. So as someone calls you up, you can tell them, hey, look, feel free to check out our Google My Business reviews. We have X amount of reviews there and feel free to look at the pictures that we have there in, in our website. So by just mentioning that, you're leveraging your Google My Business listing and the reputation that Google has for local consumers and it builds trust in your prospects' eyes. So as you're going through that, make sure that you are cultivating, you are encouraging your clients to leave you a positive feedback. As you can see there, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see very little amount of contractors actually have positive reviews here. So that's a big opportunity for a concrete contractor in my area right now where I'm making this search to really stand out and make a name for themselves, right? So the next step is now that you have this, uh, this listing claim, the next step is to start posting pictures of your work in your Google My Business listing. Because what's gonna happen is, in this case, you can see here, uh, as you're, you're posting pictures, if you, you deliver quality work, and I'm talking about real pictures, not, not fake pictures, as you deliver quality work, you wanna make sure that you capture that moment, and it is something that actually gets found and gets crawled in Google search, gets you impressions, gets you uh, interactions on your Google My Business listing, and prospective clients actually check out and make sure that the pictures are looking good, right? So if it's something that you're not 100% proud of uh, and you're, it's questionable, just think about that. You know, your prospective clients, like look at this guy right here, Artistic Concrete of South Florida. You know, they're posting beautiful stamped concrete work and, um, you know, the patios, the pool decks, uh, the driveways, the different stamped concrete. All of this is a selling tool. So you can send your prospective clients to check out the picture. So that's how you can start leveraging your Google My Business listing 
And if you have not claimed it yet, and if you don't know how to claim it, and if you need help doing any of these things, feel free to visit ConcreteMarketingCrew.com and download a copy of our free internet marketing guide for concrete constructors, where we show you how you can position your concrete company on the Google Maps and how you can leverage all these different tools. So, so far, what we've learned is number one is make sure that you claim your Google My Business listing, that you're using the right name, address, and phone number in the, in the place that you want to rank at you start collecting reviews number two start posting pictures number three and then last but not least is start posting about uh, just the news and what's happening and um, and this is something that we strongly encourage all contractors to do is as you're getting jobs done that you're posting about the job so let me do stamp concrete uh, Miami stamp concrete Miami so that I can show you some examples, if I can type fast enough, Stamp Concrete Miami, you can see these guys right here, they have some work, okay, same thing, all right, let me show you a completely different one, so we're going to go to, show you this, this listing right here, and uh, we have what we call the Google My Business Posts. And what you do is you take your Google My Business login, you log into it on a phone application called Google My Business. And as you log in, you start posting pictures of your work right there as a post, not just uploading pictures, but make a post that describes what that job is about, the job that you completed. Now, what you do is once you actually finish publishing that post, you click on the share button and you can share it right to your Facebook feed. And this right here is what's going to start generating local engagement for you. And as you can see there, this type of local engagement is what Google loves to see. And this has, as you see there, as we shared this from Google, it comes from google.com. It has your business name and it has a description. You can see Atlanta concrete resurfacing, right? So what are the ads of this concrete contractor uh, ranking on Google search for those terms down the line if this is something that cons that is consistently getting done and competitors are not doing it. Well, it's very high. So anyways, if you like these tips, guys, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more information. Again, this is Danny Barrera, Concrete Marketing Crew. Thank you so much for watching. If you need any help marketing your concrete company, getting found online, getting concrete leads, and getting the best type of concrete projects in your service area, go to concretemarketingcrew.com right now and schedule a free strategy call. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And Daniel's prime time. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a great day.